Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. Today we are talking about number 250 in the imprint series, which is Cross of Iron. Now, I recently reviewed the Studio Canal Region B uh, 4K of this, and I was really curious about this one because, again, uh, much like with the driver, we have the 4K disc within this one, which has um, much the same disc and imprint Blu-ray version of that. Uh, and what I was really kind of interested about this one was the Grindhouse version and the special features that are on this because I knew the 4K was great. Um, I knew it was fantastic. I was interested to see what this Grindhouse version was. Was it a different cut? Was it just small changes? What was going on here? Um, and we'll kind of get to that, I suppose. But sitting down and watching Cross of Iron again, my appreciation for the film has gone up yet again. I, I think it's... It's fantastic, uh, and, and being drawn into the world of Steiner, the reluctant sh soldier who is almost torn between the brutality of war and the loyalty of his comrades. He wants to make sure that everybody is as safe as they possibly can be and protected in this brutal world. Well, dealing with the tyrannical bosses above him who kind of use these men as pawns, uh, throwing them to their death like a whim. I think that just because you and Colonel Brandt are more enlightened than most officers that I hate you any less. And James Coburn really imbues that kind of stoic nature of a man who doesn't care his position, someone else's position. All he cares about is the safety of his men and to make sure that they get through these events as best as they possibly can, which I think is just brilliant. And Maximilian Schell turns up in this one as uh, Stransky, a man who's desperate to get a cross of iron, uh, who that's his only goal. It's not about fighting a good fight, making sure that his men are safe, looking after people. Uh, it's just about getting that medal so that he can say that he has it. Just a piece of worthless metal. Look. It's not worthless to me. And it leads to some wonderful set pieces. And I'm not talking about the action, which is exquisite. But even watching this the second time around, as close as I did to the previous watch, I loved some of the more quieter conversations in this one. The ones that almost seem subdued by the rest of the movie but lead to so much more when Stransky is talking to a soldier and uh, a private at one point he's very serpent-like the way he's leading the conversation leading the men on getting them to open up and then just when they show a, a sliver of vulnerability he snaps his trap shut capturing these men if you get caught, you will be hanged, slowly. It just leads you into the, the fact that this is a person who will do whatever he has to, manipulate, uh, push, cajole, do what he needs to do to get what he wants. Stransky, on the, uh, or Steiner on the other hand, is uh, not that kind of person that's going to be pushed or cajoled in any way, shape or form. There's other just similar conversations, uh, similar sequences that just have so much power within them. And I find myself looking forward to the ending of this one, not because I want the movie over, but because after all the trials and tribulations that these characters go through, there's a moment right at the end where Coburn turned around and just delivers this wonderful line. And I will show you where the Iron Crosses grow. It just epitomises everything that we've seen before it. That kind of world weary we have to do what we have to do in this terrible world scenario. Uh, Cross of Iron is really getting up there for me in picking past filmography, which is something I never thought I'd say. Um, because it does feel kind of disjointed in parts but again like I said watching it re-watching it again I found more to love more to love in those quiet moments 
of just conversations, of seeing people just be themselves under the worst circumstances that they can be under. The Grindhouse version of this is very similar to the original version. There is a couple of sequences where things are just changed a little bit. A line here, um, a se sequence finishes just a little bit early, I think, although my memory could be playing tricks on me. Um, but what I liked about this one is it's not the best version. It's scratched and it's beat up. It's a 2K scan from a vintage 35mm print and it's not perfect. And in this world where we move on to 4K discs and we're looking for amazing picture quality, there was something rather, I don't know, interesting about watching this film from the 70s that looked beat up, that looked a little bit haggard and a little bit worse for wear. Still very watchable, uh, still uh, easy enough to watch and, and the quality is enough to enjoy, but it almost kind of added to my enjoyment in this one where the beat up scratches in this 70s war torn world uh, or the, the time that it would have been shown uh, is supposed to give a kind of authentic 70s cinematic experience and I kind of felt a, little, a bit like that and I love that we've got in this set you've got the 4k you can have the best picture of this one if you want it or you can stick on the grindhouse version like I did on blu-ray where it's a little bit beat up scratched the color timings a little bit off in certain points but it just kind of adds to the fun of it and i love this set because you have that difference within them i really do like um cross of iron I, i've got a feeling again once more and i'm just going to utterly love it it's just really grown on me so much and having both versions is just absolutely perfect a well done imprint for releasing another fantastic set I know I asked you before about Cross of Iron, but tell me, is it a movie that you've seen, you want to see, you're interested in checking out? It's my second time watching it within a few months. I would say it's well worth finding and checking out if you can. Are you thinking about picking up this fantastic imprint edition? Let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on this one and uh, any other thoughts you may have. And there is more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon, Membership Program and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.